everybody, thank you so much for stopping by and checking these videos out. Really appreciate the support as well as the feedback. If you wish to support the channel even further, uh, check these links down below. Uh, the Buy Me Coffee link is up and running as well as the donation link. I'm in the process of upgrading video and audio to do on the water demonstrations as well as side by side out there. Uh, I think that'll be really nice. But without further ado, enjoy the video. Hey, welcome back everybody. I uh, wanted to do a quick video for you guys. So this is something that I've been asked a few questions about and also on the Facebook page. Um, you can follow me on Facebook. It's under Bearded Paddler and it'll have the same logo, of course, as my, my YouTube channel here. But this is the Wildy Cart made by Wilderness Systems. Retails at $239.99, 450 pound weight capacity. So it's perfect for those really heavy um, fishing kayaks, a lot of gear on them. It's also gonna work for uh, a wide variety of different hull shapes. So your V-shape, your flat bottoms, um, you know, V-shape like a Hobie, flat bottoms like native, new canoe. Um, I'm gonna demonstrate here with the new canoe Frontier 12 here. But uh, you can see here, you got two wing nuts on each side. All you gotta do is loosen these up. You can slide these inward and outward for, you know, again, to fit the individual hull. I definitely suggest doing that before you put it out on the water. Uh, so the new canoe here has got some ridges along the uh, the bottoms here. It can save you a lot of time, especially if you got it loaded up with gear. But uh, really nice airless tires. You don't have to worry about flat tires. Um, they do have a model with what they call the beach wheels. Um, beaches aren't really a thing here in North Arkansas, so we don't really carry that but it's a very wide, kind of a smooth gray wheel uh, meant to kind of go through sand a little bit better. I wanna say on the beach wheels, it does kind of uh, bring down the weight capacity a little bit, but not much, you're still 300 plus on that. But uh, anyways, guys, these uh, come as you see here, You do there is some assembly required, but nothing major. Uh, it does come with two cam straps, which the straps go underneath the bars and up over the top, and then you cinch it down to the kayak. But if you're just wanting to get it out of the water into a vehicle, the weight of the kayak is gonna secure really nicely on this, depending on what setup you got. So it's not necessarily something you have to do every single time. But if you're, if you're wanting to secure it a little bit better, keep it from sliding off, it is something to consider there. But I'll put this on here and kind of show you the proper fitment, proper uh, placement on the kayak, which is also something that a lot of people may be doing a little differently. So I see a lot of people running these on the backside. That doesn't really help you with the weight. You're still lifting up that entire boat and you're also putting quite a bit of stress on the back part of that. Uh, very much like the, uh, a lot of the boats that come with the wheel in the keel, what they call it. Uh, especially on those heavier kayaks like this one, that's a lot of stress. So when you pick that boat up on that wheel, or if you got that kayak cart a little too far back, you, you create a little bit of a, uh, a braking action there. It's gonna wanna bend to the corner of that boat. And you can, over time, you can kind of create a little bit of a weakness back there. Sometimes it happens in the scupper holes in the back on some kayaks. Sometimes you can actually start to get some water into that hole if you do have those screws for a rudder set up or with that wheel on there. But uh, I'll go ahead and get this set up for you and then uh, come back and show you proper placement and again, and why that is really. And there you go. All I did was just lifted the kayak, the front of it, set it on top of the bars. Sometimes there's a little bit of a, you know, a wiggle there to kind of get it down into the tracks. And I'll show you what this looks like here. So this is again, the new canoe Frontier 12. You can see here, it's kind of that deep track. And I've got those bars adjusted to where they fit really nicely in there. Again, you can run the straps around the kayak. You're securing the bars to the top. You're cinching it on top there. But again, if you just wanted to run it like this, just to get you out of the water to your vehicle, that's gonna work great. And I also want you to see where this is placed at. So it's placed, there's no magic spot there, but I usually do it right around the middle, right around the seating position typically with most kayaks. You can go a little further back, Going too much forward, it's gonna be counterproductive, obviously, but it gives you that little seesaw, that little teeter point there. 
depending on where you have all your weight. So if you're loaded up back here, you can move it a little ways to there to kind of level that out. But uh, I wouldn't go too far. I wouldn't go too, too far behind this right here. Because what this is going to do, this boat weighs 77, 78 pounds. I'm just going to pick it up with one finger. And again, I'm just kneeling here with one hand. So again, really great product, really good value. Uh, you can do two things with this when you're done with it. Again, you can back it down to the water. You can lift the, lift the end of it up, kick it out. You can take it back up to the vehicle, which is what a lot of people do. You can take it apart. Um, just going to be honest with you, that can be a little bit of a pain. You're just you're going to undo those two screws, take it apart, take the wheels off. Uh, some people will just take it, set it upside down in their tank well. Again, depending on what setup you got, if you got a, a tackle crate in the back, again, that can be a little cumbersome and you're sacrificing a little bit of your, uh, your space and your kayak, but... Really good way uh, if you don't want to mount landing gear to it. The landing gear is nice, don't get me wrong, but if you're just wanting something simple to get a heavier kayak down to the uh, waterfront, really good option, especially for boat ramps. Now, if you're on, if, you know, if you're in some rural areas, you got some maybe walking trails, may not be the best option. It's not what I would call an off-road uh, crate setup or cart setup there. So keep that in mind. Uh, it's always going to depend on where you're going, what you're needing it to do. But it's also, it's an easier way to carry a lot of gear instead of unloading everything, taking it down the water, carrying your tackle crate, your fishing rods, your PFD, your paddle, uh, electric motor if you got it on there, your battery, and then doing all that. This will save you a lot of time here. So if again, if you have experience with this product, let me know down in the comments. It can help somebody else out that's also looking at this product. And uh, if you have any questions, reach out to me. I, uh, I get to my comments as soon as possible. Thank you for so much for the support that you guys have been showing. Uh, we look forward to bringing you more of these videos in the future. And again, if anything else I can help you out with this product or more, drop me a comment there. Love to help you guys out. Again, thanks again, for guys, and we'll see you on the next video.